All right, here's a pretty cool text effect that I like to use in Photoshop. And I went and tried to find the cutest puppies ever. And if you guys are wondering where I'm getting this stock photography from, well, it looks like stock photography. But anytime I go over here to Google, I search, you know, what I'm looking for, puppies. I use the search tool. And then I come down here to um, the size. And I usually go to larger than um, 16 by, you know, 12. And it gives me a selection of images really big with good resolution. So right over here, um, I like to copy my layers quite a bit. So I hit Command J. And if you hold Command and you hit your new layer right here, you'll get the layer underneath. Naturally, if we select this right here and we just hit a new layer with no modifier key, it goes over top. So, But we want this underneath. What we're going to do is we're going to turn off the top layer here. And we're going to grab our text tool real fast. And we're just going to type in something really generic. Um, I already kind of selected my font here before the tutorial. So I'm going to type in puppies. Um, P-U-P-P-I-E-S. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch it out here. Make it a little bit bigger so we can definitely see it. And the bigger the block letters that you have, um, this effect seems to work a little bit better. So I have puppies here. And um, I'm going to kind of put the puppies text right over top of there. But it looks really flat. Um, you know, it looks like, um, you know, it just doesn't really look all that well. And actually, I meant to have this text layer underneath here is the reason why I was showing you how to select that layer underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit it there by hitting Command Enter. And I'm going to move this layer underneath here. We can get rid of this layer right here. But if I would have hit my T key and, you know, had this layer selected and selected the text tool um, and holding the command key, it would have went right underneath there like I was trying to show you. But kind of screwed up there. But it's okay. Um, we know how to correct ourselves. So we have the word puppies there. And right here on this layer here, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to select the top layer, I'm going to hold my option key, and it brings me up this little tool right here. So when I hit that right there, you notice that it's called a clipping mask. It clips the layer. So when I turn that back on, the word puppies disappears once again. So if we go in here to our you know, blending options and our layer styles, if I just go in here and select the drop shadow, you'll see the word puppies start to come back, you know, and it's kind of interacting with the picture where it's not flat at all. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do an outer glow, and I like to select the color of my subject. So I'm just going to grab a color of the puppy here. And then what I'm going to do in my outer glow is I'm going to bring the size up just a little bit. Okay? So that's all we're going to do for right now. And one thing I love about this, it's always about being non-destructive in Photoshop. So I'm going to select my move tool here and I usually have my auto select on, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it off for this case because when I go to select this text here, I don't want to select the top layer, which is layer one up here. So you can see where you can move this around and you can do all kinds of different things with it. And you can see where you can move it to. And it's kind of discreet. You know, I kind of like within my um, artwork for someone to look at my artwork more than one time and see something different every time. So um, I will kind of hide it down in here a little bit, you know, and you can see the word puppies there. We can go over here to the drop shadow, select that again, and I can take this drop shadow and I can bring the opacity down just a little bit. Um, I can bring, you know, the opacity down over here to kind of tone it down a little bit there. And you can kind of click through here and kind of see what other effects are pretty good. Like an inner shadow works out pretty well as far as the the word puppies is like it's kind of embedded in there. And it's always just about being subtle as possible. So let's go ahead and move it up here to the top a little bit and see what's going on here. Now, while we're here and we're messing with this text effect, I'm going to show you another quick tool, quick tip. I usually like to be on the move tool when I do this, but I hit command A to select all. And if you're on the move tool, you'll see these little tools up here for the center alignment, um, align vertical center. And, you know, these two right here in the center, we'll put it right there in the center. And then from here, I would deselect 
select the text layer, hold my shift key, and just hit down. I would just hold the down key here, and you will see the word puppies to drop down and it to be perfectly centered. You know, so it's just a fun little effect. Go ahead and try it out. Let me know if it works out for you. Leave a message in the comments and let me know um, if this tutorial, um, if you can use this right here. So I like to try to keep my tutorials as short as possible. So I hope you enjoyed, and um, I look forward to showing you a few more things. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.